Today I'm excited to announce our latest update to our AI GeoReferencer. So for the past couple months since we launched our initial AI GeoReferencer, we've been rebuilding it from scratch, training a new model, and now can locate and GeoReference aerial and satellite imagery within hundreds of square kilometers. Let me show you how it works. So this is the example map I'm going to be using. It's a, a bathymetric map of Whiskey Town Lake with aerial imagery uh, on the sides, and then it's overlaid with the bathymetric map. And this also shows that though we can handle standalone aerial imagery, standalone satellite imagery, it also works when you have um, some sort of imagery marked up with something else. And so to use the georeferencer, I'll go to our website and add the image. Let's zoom into the area roughly. Uh, it's easier because I know it's it's at Whiskey Town Lake. And then I'll draw a box generally where the image will be. It also makes it faster if you know that it's north aligned, just to indicate that. And then I'll hit georeference. This will take a second, and so I'll zoom to the end. Perfect. So here you can see that it successfully georeferenced it to the area around the lake. Um, you can see these other boxes are other areas where the georeferencer thought it might be, but it ended up deciding on the correct location around the lake. To test this, you can download the GeoTIFF as well as the dot points uh, for both QGIS and ArcGIS. Uh, and I'll download the GeoTIFF and add it to QGIS just so you can see that it worked. And so I'll go here, I'll add the GeoTIFF, I'll have Q add an AIP. And here you can see it's in the same place. If you want to try this, we'll be launching it publicly soon. But if you want early access, send us an email and we'll get you uh, started. Thank you.